happening right now. More than 200 people are speaking before a Senate committee concerned over changes to your child's sex education courses. Parents, religious groups, school leaders are all packed into the state capitol right now supporting both sides of this issue and that is where we find our Russell Haythorn tonight. So Russell, what are these changes? Why has this become so controversial? Well, and it's been controversial for decades now. I mean, there have been clear differences on how to teach this subject to our children for a long time, sex education. And now this new bill uh, would require or would add human sexuality curriculum, perhaps most controversial in that is the LGBTQ content. The bill would also ban abstinence-only education, but districts would still teach about abstinence and parents and districts could still opt out of that curriculum entirely. 213 people signed up to testify at the Senate hearing today, and as you can imagine, opinions vary widely on this bill. Um, LGBTQ Americans have a very different experience than a lot of folks in um, um, the heterosexual community, and and our 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 existence and our humanity um, is so often denied by so many people that offering an affirmative education to our to our um, state's children, we believe, will have better outcomes down the road. We just want to have the right to opt out, to not have our kids be there, to. Um, make sure that they're safe in their school, that we can trust their teachers and they're not going to be trying to weave in um, their political agenda, you know, whether it be um, a hatred of cops or a um, hatred of Christian people. We, we want to make sure that we're inclusive of those people too. So 213 people have signed up to speak today. Uh, they're each given about three minutes to talk if they want to take that length of time, which I can tell you from experience, most of them do. So if you do the math, that's about 10 hours of testimony before this committee. They started at 1.30 this afternoon. This committee hearing could go well into the late evening hours, perhaps even into the morning hours of tomorrow. We'll keep you posted. For now, we're live inside the state capitol. Russell Haythorn. Denver 7. Well, could be a long night. Russell, Definitely. thank you.